the grasslands of the temperate region grass covers more than 1/5 of the earth's land surface most of these grasslands are located in the temperate zone the temperate zone lies between latitude 23 and a half degree north and 66 and a half degree north in the northern hemisphere and between latitude 23 and a half degree south and 66 and a half degree south in the southern hemisphere the grasslands are known by different names in different parts of the world prairies in north america pampas in south america steppes in russia veld in south africa downs in australia savannas in central africa climate the grasslands have hot summers and cold winters moderate rainfall occurs mostly in summer vegetation and wildlife the grasslands are a vast stretch of flat land covered by miles and miles of tall grass the grass is green in summer and turns brown in autumn there are hardly any trees australia's grasslands are home to kangaroos emus and lots of brightly colored birds such as parrots and cockatoos wild horses are still found in the steppes of russia the prairies are home to the prairie dogs small rodents and the dangerous rattlesnakes they were once the grazing grounds for millions of bison however today most of the land has been cleared for agriculture by the people who came from europe and settled here very few bison can now be seen very little of the natural prairies remain today agriculture the soil here is fertile large areas of grasslands have been ploughed to plant food crops in the prairies of north america steppes of russia and pampas of south america the major crops are wheat maize barley rye and oats in the pampas a unique variety of highly nutritious grass called alfa alfa is grown in the prairies water is available in plenty from the mississippi and missouri rivers and their tributaries this makes it perfect for agriculture the region produces so much wheat that it is called the wheat basket of the world the united states of america is the largest wheat exporter of the world farm work such as plowing sowing harvesting and threshing is done with the help of machines the farmers generally live on their huge farms with their families the workers also live on the farms in small homesteads since the farms are huge and machines do most of the work the population in the region is thin rearing cattle towards the west the prairies are hilly and the soil is not so fertile these areas are mainly used to rear cattle in large grasslands called ranches cattle are raised for beef and dairy products the cattle are sent to slaughter houses in cities for production of beef the city of chicago is an important center for slaughtering animals ranches and slaughter houses are equipped with modern machinery 
much of the pampas in south america are also used for rearing cattle for beef meat and hides are exported all over the world in the downs of australia sheep are reared for wool australia is the largest producer of wool in the world the industry is very modern and uses modern machines the people the native dwellers of the prairies were the red indians they were named red indians by the european explorers who landed in america thinking that they had reached india they grew maize trapped small animals fished and hunted deer they traveled by small boats called canoes to trade Many of them now live on land set aside by the government for their use only. These are called reservations. However, many of them have merged into the general population which mainly consists of European settlers as well as people who have migrated from other countries. In the steppes, the native inhabitants are the kirgis who are nomads they mainly rear cattle they live in round tents called yurts they have now settled to farming or cattle rearing